<laughs> All right, so there's the itinerary for today. Um, I don't know why. Can you see the? <clears throat> can you see that uh, presentation? Yes. Okay, Islam. All right, so I'm gonna just jump right in because I actually got a couple more things to get to. I don't know why it's not showing me the whole thing. Okay. No um, problem. Maybe I'll just go back into it. Oh, that's why it's doing that. All right, there we go. There we go. All right. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so welcome, welcome, welcome to our meeting itinerary to try to plan another event um, in the Moorish Mecca in Chicago on this, what's today, August 24th already while this month flew, right, at 11 p.m. or a.m. Eastern. I knew I should have scheduled this for one um, online virtual meeting. Okay, I'll put the link in later. And these will be saved for other people to get access to because this might, oh, yeah, so I'll say that later. I'll just save it now. Okay, so welcome. First, welcome. Thank um, you. Oh, thank you for showing up. Appreciate that. Right, of again, course. a brief brief introduction. I am Sister Tahita Najiola L of KhalifaMedia.com and um, MercyCharities.org and now Rise of the Moors.org and another one Oh, somebody wants to get in. Let me get get her in. Okay. All right, Islam, Islam, you're right on time. We're just getting started. Islam. Islam. Yeah, this just like an update for you because we already know that, you know, <laughs> we know how to do this because we pulled it off successfully. So this is going to be like um, probably trying to expand it into something else. So Islam, and I'm, okay. I'm so glad his sister's here because I didn't want to be bogus, but I was actually just inviting the sisters, you know. Uh, Cause I've heard guys actually, or brothers actually, tell me just tell me how much I need to pay and what time to be there. So okay, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So their part is easy. We just got to plan that part for them. So uh, yeah, we're right. just doing an introduction, and this is going to be recorded for other people to have access to later. You know, in case they're interested, because uh, we're getting this started two months, little over, little less than two months before the event. And I'm gonna probably keep referring back to the um, the Mecca event because that we I think we started a month before, and it was that it went off that well because we started planning a month early. All right. Um. So yeah, again, I'm Sister Tahita Najila L. And um, if y'all could introduce yourselves to me and each other. Okay. Um, I I go first. Uh, my name. Should I come on camera? Oh no! Do whatever you want. Whatever's good for you. Because it's okay. early for me, so I'm not getting on camera. I'm gonna let you know that right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm a pop on and pop off because um, I was practicing my turban wrapping, and I have um, one of the pins. So oh no! If you want to stay off, I don't want you to like interrupt your stuff. You know, not at all, please. <laughs> um, well, my name is Rosa Tiara Morel. Okay, and I'm. Currently in Germantown, Wisconsin. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. And I am a mother of two. I homeschool my boys. Okay. I'm studying currently. RV Bay is my number one go-to for uh, resources. And then I'm studying psychology, astrology, and a few other things, especially etymology is like number one. So, um but that's that's pretty much just a summary of everything. I, okay, um, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's yeah, a lot. So just to put a light all into a little bit. It's long. That's about it, Miss Yelly. Uh, peace, uh, Rosa. Sorry, what part of Wisconsin you say you are from, or you're at right now? I'm in Germantown, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm uh, Anna Yelly. Um, I'm near. Wisconsin, but I'm not sure where German Wisconsin is. It's, I'm uh, at Waukegan, Illinois. We border uh -huh. Wisconsin, but yeah. the, the lakeside. The, okay. Um, so I'm like 25 minutes from the Oh, okay. That might come in handy. Border. That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's the halfway yeah. point for that, you know, that kind of thing? Yeah. It's okay, long. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a mother. I'm taking care of uh, three children. They do go to public school because I, um, I need to work. Um, I am doing it on my own. 
with, you know, little support as in not financially, but um, just hands on. Um, my mother transitioned um, uh, 2021. She was like my, my support, you know, my help, my hands on. Um, so, so yeah, I um, came into the movement um, probably like around the time that she had transitioned. I think, you know, it was divine. Um, because I was in, in search of, you know, in, inside of me, like I knew that there was like this, I had to teach my children something, you know, that because of how the world is, you know, and I'm like, I'm don't want to say religion, but I was like, there is something out there that is not so dogmatic and it's divine that I found it. And so I've been learning as I learn, I, I do teach them. Um, we have a, we read every night and it has to be some sort of Moorish, um, either, uh, they really like the 33 Moorish questions. We do a Quran every Friday and, um, I've started to do the Zodiac, you know, the little time frames I do have with them because, you know, I work and they go to public school. I, I do my best. You're doing great. I can, um, Okay, yes. I kind of grew up in that situation where um, what my mother was a housewife, but she chose to send us to public school anyway. And um, my father was like, well, that's fine, but you have to teach them something when they get home. And as somebody that went through that, I can I don't know your children, but I'm just letting you know my experience. That had more impact than the stuff in school, just because it was coming from um, somebody I was intimately familiar with. Right. And that I knew my mother was she wasn't busy. It was it more matter coming from my father because he was super busy so when he would sit down and just read anything to us it was just like yeah i, I don't need nothing else i'm over this is the stuff i'm going to retain so if you wonder why i act the way i do why i go so hard it's because of that time he took out right so what you do i'm just letting you know what you're doing is having a huge impact on your children it's probably gonna have a bigger impact than those 12 years of um, public school so yeah it, as I, I realized that um they have more of a, a level of respect for you when you do that because they're looking at these teachers outside mm -hmm. of their home as they know everything and they come right. to you and you know you don't know anything then they're like oh you know and it's um i they definitely have a more appreciation of me and um our relationship that we care yeah, this going to have to be like a discussion or like a, a group, like for the moms to get together. Because I really want to go into that deeper. <laughs> but we can't. Yeah, well, it's like, no, we're going to be here for like two hours if I start. Because I, I just want to like ask you some questions. Okay. Um, and as far as your mom, that I said that was interesting. I'm wondering if she led you to the science. Because the same thing happened to me. Right after my father passed in 2000, it was late 2000. No, early 2000. No, late 2007. And... Six months later, in 2008, I was led to all the way to Georgia and to board science. And I can't help but think he had something to do with that. You I know. feel the same way. Yeah. Wow. Like, that was just too convenient, you know? So, yeah. Well, yep. And welcome, um, 416. I guess that's Cujo. Islam? Islam? Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's All right. Okay. Hey, that's fine. Yeah, you right there with the rest of us. That's what's up. All right. Um, but yeah, thank you, Yelly, for that idea. And if Ro Rosa, if you're interested, I think that might be something good for the mothers, right? Yes. Because yes. I'm finding, I don't know about your children, but mine are like breezing through school. I'm not going to labor this because like I said, we should talk about this later. And I don't know if it's because they're actually like really that much smarter than the other children. Or because they're not first dealing with the shame of being black, brown, or whatever. You know, got to deal with that distraction. Yeah. Then I'll focus on my work. No, I'm going straight in as a more. And my parents told me we're the greatest. You know, we better than sliced bread. So let me get down to work. That kind of thing. Because right. I, I have three children in school and they are just like bodying everybody. And it's like they're not even trying. You know. Wow. <laughs> and I'm wondering it's because they're of the pride part. Or the yeah. lack of shame part. You know, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's something we need to go into for real because we could we could do something with that. But to the meeting, <laughs> that was an introduction. All right, cool. OK, Um. so the, the uh, overview. Uh huh. Yes. Can I, can I share um, just something real brief about Please. my experience with public school? Oh, boy. 
Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> now it sounds, I feel like I'm about to be traumatized, but go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, so when, when I first moved up to Wisconsin, um, I actually was in Milwaukee, but I stayed in, in Milwaukee for like two years and it was just coming from the part of North Carolina that I was in, Milwaukee was very fast paced. Like Raleigh to me was city because I'm, I'm a country girl from a Husky, North Carolina. So I'm from a really small country area, but I, um, when I was maybe like 14, we pretty much just stayed in the city area and would only go home to my grandmother's house to see family. Like, um, obviously, you know, my family celebrated holidays and stuff like that. So, um, fast forwarding, when we moved up here, my son started fifth, um, not fifth, my bad, uh, first kindergarten. So he was five. And so kindergarten, first grade, second grade, he was in public school. And I've always been around people that would say like, when he was a, like maybe a year and a half, two years old, he was mimicking beats. He could hear a beat and, and do it exactly the, just on the wall on the table. He was reading he was saying his alphabets numbers everything before he was before his second birthday he just turned two when he had numbers I believe one through ten or one through twelve and some letters of the alphabet he would like mispronounce but for the most part he knew his letters and everything was fine everybody was like oh my goodness he's so intelligent he's so wise then we get to school and then the teachers within maybe three months of school yep I had that same experience. Yep. Well, I think he's going to need an IEP. Um, wow. Because something is going on. Oh, my goodness. Um, he's not staying up with the rest of the children. Now, mind you, um, he I grew up as the only child. And at first, he was the only child. So when he went to school at five, he there was no other children in the household. But he was around other children. All of my friends had children. And they were in um, school already or going to school with him. So... The, you know, at the time, I didn't have any knowledge of self. I was calling myself two continents or uh, adjective and, you know, and I was teaching him that was okay. But I don't even know who taught me that. I was just kind of going along with it. So, um, you know, we did, he goes off to school and they're still putting more labels on him. So I didn't even realize I gave him his first labels until oh. I started studying. But yeah, that's um, deep. once he got in there, they, the IEP was a label. And now they're trying to say autism. Black black and African American was already the first one. So after that second year, and I was looking at these the programs, supposedly they had extra help for him and it wasn't helping because if it was helping, he wouldn't be in the program for his going on third year at the school at the time. So third grade year I took him out. First, I started off doing Wisconsin Virtual Academy, which was like an online school, all grades. That was a disaster. The classrooms were huge and <laughs> it's, he couldn't ask a question to the teacher. They would email whenever they get ready. It was lots of distractions in the classroom. The class is 40 minutes. Nothing was taught. And I'm like, well, what are we doing? You know, so, you know, at the time I'm, I'm looking outside for education, not knowing that it's me. Right. So, um, that, I noticed that when he was in school, they told him about him and then they would tell me about him. When I went to the school, I was telling the school about him at first, so excited about him coming to public school for the first time. And then now they, it's, it's just gone. Like they, they took all of that from me, all of the excitement, even from him. So, yeah, I didn't have really a good experience the first couple of years. And I realized that with teaching myself, homeschool was the best thing for me and for them just because of the label part. Um, we just started a little backwards, you know, uh, but it was been easier. Is he doing better? The foundation at home first. Is he doing better? He is. Okay. Yes. He actually, um, Khalifa he, this is his name. He met you at the. Oh yeah. So he's doing fine. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> boy, that boy can talk. I was just like, yeah, he just talking, but it wasn't like he was yes. rambling. He was speaking. I'm just like, who, yes. who's this child? Whose child is this? <laughs> you know? Yeah. He was yes. a trip, you know? I, I yes. really enjoyed meeting. So yes, he's fine. I can testify to that. <laughs> so yeah, yes, you did a, you did a great job with him. That's a, yeah, that's going to be a, so that's going to be an awesome man. If he keep on that track. 
for real. Well, you know what? That's that's my goal, and that's why I wanted us to like communicate so I can be around other like-minded mothers and women who are about building. Because, like I read in She Redeemed, a problem with men starts as a problem with women. So we got to start first. Yep, we're the foundation. We got we got everybody the first seven years. The stuff you don't know why you know it that's from your mom. We got we got to exactly. do something with that. So, yes, exactly. this needs to be a meeting. So, yeah, look for that announcement. <laughs> so, yeah, because, I mean, I, I figure that'll probably bring the women in because I'm finding they don't go to the temple because the temple don't have nothing for the children. So, right. you know, yeah. so we can, we can actually do something about that. But okay. to the meeting. All right. Welcome, Amir Sharif L. Good to see you again. You know, and I guess we got to start doing the same thing for the, the boys because that's like expanding into a thing. This is great. Okay, this is um this is dope. Islam, okay. Islam. Um Yeah, I need to set up something with you too, because remember we were talking about that construction thing? There's um they brought me back up to Chicago to talk to the Moors from Indianapolis who are trying to do the exact same thing that we had talked about. So it's just okay, like, okay. okay, we need to like start getting that ready in uh down south too. Yeah. But when I seen that text message from you, I, I, I kind of got in that mode. I'm like, OK, because I, I know you mean business. So I'm like, OK, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to remember you said that. All right. So to this meeting. So that was on the introductions. OK, so the overview, we're trying to um, plan out, I guess, meet up part two. But this time the, um, it's, it's centered around the convention. Right. That's from October 15th through the 20th. And I know I can't make it up there. I can't stay in Chicago for a whole week, you know, so I'll probably be doing just like last time, just stay up there for the weekend. Right. Um, And that weekend is Friday, the 18th, Saturday, the 19th and Sunday, the 20th. And um, I think the Moors in Chicago are starting to plan because I think they usually have like a costume ball. Right. Um, So I was thinking, okay, can we do something on, for the Moors that's coming in for the weekend or maybe just for a day or so where the Moors can just like, you know, just hang out and enjoy each other's energy type of thing, just like we did before. Right. So uh, sticking to this itinerary. So, yeah, the perif- that is, is listed as number two on the um, itinerary as periphery events. Right. Um, let's see. Signing roles and responsibilities. Collaborate. Well, before we can do all that, we need to decide what what to do, if anything. Right. Just because, <laughs> um, even though it's two months out, right? And it's actually, I guess we can use that. Uh, that's like a low point in the tourist season in Chicago. So everything's going to be cheaper. Everything's cheaper, right? And uh, it's like, well, I want to do that, but I don't know why I'm just not like, when Yelly called me about books and then she was like, what should we do for the event? I was all in. It was just like, it just flowed. But this is like, hmm, I'm not getting excited about this. So just in case, maybe we should consider planning something else at a later date in another location. I bring that up because there were some Moors from Ohio, right? It was a bunch of them. A whole family. I think they were a whole family. They, they came to the meetup in Chicago. And the whole family. Yeah, it was the whole family. And I'm just like, okay, so y'all serious. And if I was to go to Ohio, I wouldn't just meet up with one person. I would meet up with a whole family. Aren't there a bunch of mounds in Ohio? See what I'm going? You see where I'm going? So I'm just like, yeah, we could do this or we can do that. Or maybe we can do both. Who knows? Right. Because, you know, we can't live close together. We can at least, you know, travel together, go vacation together, you know, that kind of thing. I want to go see some mounds. I don't know about y'all. There's, there's a serpent mound in Ohio. There's what? It's, a, it's, a, it's in the shape of a serpent. Yes, yeah, I thought that was it. The snake mound. That's the one I thought yeah. it was. Oh. Yeah. And it's huge. It's it way is. bigger than the, the pictures make it look. And I'm wondering what would happen if a bunch of more showed up and got happy over there. You know? <laughs> I'm just saying. You know? I've been to Chicago, and it's like, I don't know. You know how it is when, oh, that was great. Let me do it again. Uh... Sade said it. It's never never as good as the first time. That kind of thing. <laughs> you know. And then there's the politics and all that thing. It's like, oh, uh, aren't there like three conventions going on the same week? You know, that kind of thing. 
Because there's like three official temples up there, blah, blah, blah. I don't like getting into that politics. That's why I just like, yeah, I'll help y'all. But, you know, I don't know about linking up with folks because then people start getting mad and jealous and don't want to work with you no more. <laughs> no, for yeah, real, you know how that, that is? It's like, no, I'm a free I'm a free agent, that kind of thing. I prefer to be a free agent, you know. So, yeah. That's how everybody should be able to move. You should be able to move free. That's, how, that's a principle of ours. Like, I get it. You know, you want people. Funny, you know? I get why you want people to be locked in. So it's like, yeah, when I need something, I know you're going to be there because that's your position. But it's just like, oh, it's too disorganized right now. There's three te- three grand major temples in Chicago right now, right? Exactly. I'm like, I don't want to be involved with that, you know? I'm not trying to be sitting here waiting on y'all to get it cleaned up type of thing. I'm just going to keep moving, and I figure the more that's going to matter, are going they just going to gravitate towards each other. See? <laughs> you know? That's part why I haven't even been to any, because every time I see pictures of a convention, there's people in there who I'm like, what the hell is he doing in that? What the hell is he yeah. doing in that? What the hell is he doing in this picture? Oh, Why are there three there. separate groups of pictures? Yeah. Why aren't y'all together? Right. Exactly. That's the part that bothers me. Get over it, yeah. right? But I know what's going on. There's a bunch of baby boomers in Chicago. I grew up with the, I was raised by these people. Um, they're incredible, I'm, not to diss them at all. But um, in my experience, those boomers from Chicago, especially our people, they're incredibly selfish, very greedy, and they want all the pop. They want all the fame and glory, right? Kingly aspirations. So rather than just like letting that crap go and just be like, you know what? Nobody's the grand major temple this week. We just go all meet up in this one spot. Because it's, I mean, it's really, it's like you got a gym, you got a church, and you got a field house, and that's enough people to actually rent out the McCormick place. And actually show up and do some stuff and impress the other nations and show we're not playing. You know, I'm not, I don't want to be a part. I really don't. But it's just like, oh, <laughs> I got invited. They tell me I'll come in. It's like, oh my goodness. You know, I would much rather go to Ohio. You know, <laughs> it's messed up. Yeah. Just because I know it ain't going to be no drama. You know, yeah. That I part. With that too. Like, Man, I, I try to- why are you over there with them? I can already hear it. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But again, you're doing good work. So, like, a lot of people, your services are needed. That energy that you bring is, is needed. But it's like, you know, like you just mentioned, it's like, who are you giving that energy to? Exactly. Day? Exactly. Know? So I, I, I totally get it. That's 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 my disposition. Like, I I tend to stay where I know is familiar, and I know people are at least walking in the same direction. Because right. other people seem to be so. Uh, fracture from what what we would be on normally, like the Moors, I consider the Moors, you know, it's like other people are just, I don't know, it's like either too religious or like you say, too money hungry or it's, it's something that's standing yeah, out. Yeah, it's something, people. something is off. It's like you trying yeah. too hard, you're trying to make this into a thing instead of just being yourself. There's nothing Indeed. to try, <laughs> you know, right. aren't you divinely guided? I know I am. You know, and I'm, I'm getting I'm getting many rewards just for, you know, row, row, row your boat. I love that song. Right. <laughs> same, same. I think a uh, majority of my blessings have come from me uh, being myself and more so learning to be myself more. And, exactly. And being myself in situations where it's like uh, I want to flip out, but it's like, nah, 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 you're, you're 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 here. Don't go there. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Yeah. I'll put you here for a test. <laughs> Could you stop <laughs> testing me, much. please? <laughs> you know. But yeah, I guess that's something to consider, you know, I, it's just, it, it makes me itch. Just, oh, I know what you said. It's like, I, um, I tell people I go in peace so I can go anywhere. Right. But yeah. it's three tables in the lunchroom and everybody wants me to sit with them. I'm not sitting with none of y'all. So I can sit yeah, with all of y'all when I get ready. Y'all can come over here and sit with me, but I'm not sitting with nobody's group right now. Not right now. Until we're a single group, you know? Yeah. And I'm trying to get find somebody to be behind who's doing that. Like, uh, Kenyu Bay is looking like a great prospect, but he keeps saying partial. And when they read yeah. the Quran, I'm like, I, I can't. That's why I left the other temple. I mean, it was some other stuff going on too, but that was the last straw. I, 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 was, I was trained to be a paralegal. I can't just let that slide, you know, because I know it's, yeah. it's, it's fallacy, you know, and I'm not trying to be fighting with y'all. I'll just leave. Cause that's your, you got your thing set up and going, I'm not trying to change nothing. Peace out. You know? <laughs> so that's why I'm like on the fence. Like, I don't know because I know what you're doing over there. That kind of thing. And I'm not going to pretend I don't know. 
You That's know? me too, because we got temples here at Georgia. I visited one with Grand Sheik, but it's like, you know, like the, the Grand Sheik, him on a personal level, I have respect for him, but it's like when he takes his grand sheet position, what's happening in the temple, that's that's not respectable from my my point of view. Right. You know, right. what I know it to be. And it's like, um, I talk to a lot of Moors in Canterland that's up there with Grand Sheet Cujo and I you know how they say in church you could judge a, judge a preacher by his flock type of thing. Right. And I know Cujo, I have my own personal relationship with him, but the Moors that I deal with that attend the temple with him, these are some good Moors. You know what I mean? Like like just in general. And I've met People from Haru's temple, unbeknownst to him and them, I had a Moor come and do some work at my house just because he was a Moor. I'm like, I'll spend the money with a, with a Moor. And this Moor, I mean, destroyed my lawn, <laughs> everything. <laughs> but, you know, and I just left it at that. I paid him and just, you know, okay, just just go on and left it at that. That's messed up. Out, he was a member of his temple. Oh. And then when he seen me, he didn't even know who I was. Oh. I mean? He came up to me with some, like, animosity because I guess he was, quote, unquote, his mufti and we were all having a conversation and he walked up like you know with a lot of aggression and i'm looking like more like <laughs> this is not that time man you know it's just crazy how people are acting these days just about the movement in general um i don't know it's just a select few people who are doing right by it and i'm glad that handful. I went to the chicago meeting sound like a handful seen a lot of more is doing the same yeah yep yeah yeah i wouldn't even say a handful it's the yeah. things left over yep right it sure is i'm starting to see that too because um you're absolutely right. Um, what they doing in the community is great, but what you putting in people's heads, uh, I can't be, I can't be down with that for real, because that's yeah. gonna go out making me look bad, and it's gonna make what I'm trying to set up for my children harder. That kind of thing. Yeah. And then um, and how was, you gonna we gonna find each other? How everybody kept asking me, how did I know the Moors at that event? I'm like the only one I knew was Cujo. That was it. <laughs> I ain't know nobody. You know, I, that was the first time meeting everybody. You know. But it didn't feel like that at it all. It didn't though. feel like right. that. That's why they kept asking me, how you know them? I know them the way I know you, you know? <laughs> yeah. But you just met me. Exactly, you know? <laughs> but see, that's, that's what I see. Like, you know, the ones who are true, like, we're going to gravitate to each other. Yep. It's, it's going to happen. But, like, you're, you know, we're setting up something now. Something has has to be set up to actually, exactly. um, uh, you know, like, see each other in the flesh. Because the computer is right. fine. But it's nothing like in the flesh. It's nothing like it. Testify. Because that was amazing. That meetup was amazing. Amazing. Like, yeah. I, was, like you, I heard you the other day say so you're still riding off of the energy. I am too. Yep. <laughs> Which is why I'm doing this. Like, yeah, we need to keep this going. For real. So are, are, we, are we looking at um, at least um, going to one, one, of the, one of the 10 new day things for, for that weekend? Oh, uh. <laughs> because if, if I go, I'm gonna have to go to something. I'm gonna have to go to something. There's nobody else has to go to anything. If they don't want, but I'm gonna have to go to something because I'm on, I'm only there for the for the convention. If I go, yeah, so, that would be the only reason I, mean, I would be there. Well, no, nah, I would be there to see the Moors, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, I mean, other than that, but I mean, like for the you know for the um cause, because of the quote unquote convention time of the year. You know, um, if they're having something, even if it's the, even if it's the holy day service or whatever they're doing on, I don't know, whatever it is that they're doing, whatever plan they have. But um, I'm still thinking about if I'm going to go, just because of that same thing with the who's going to be at this thing. Yeah. Because it's not like it's not like we got to engage on a on a day when all the members are at the temple. You know what I mean? It's just the Misty and the Supreme Grand Chief there. But but I've seen pictures. Of past conventions, and I already seen people who I don't, I don't even want to be in their, in their presence. Yeah, and um, it's like Kenyu Bay's temple. It's like full of people who've screwed me over. Right? <laughs> Just like I don't want to see none of the. I, I don't have a problem showing up because I know they're gonna stay away from me because of what they've done to yeah, me. Yeah. And but it's too many of them, right? <laughs> Just like yeah, okay, yeah. you know, yeah. like oh your 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 business manager manager and. Uh, California is an ex-Catholic. She went to this Catholic school from kindergarten through college. I didn't even know there was such thing as Catholic colleges until I met her. And uh, right. now she's she bought her chic thing, and she's your your business manager, and she gonna be there. And it's the one that accused me of stealing the sister's auxiliary that she was sitting on for two years. That's who I gotta meet. That's who I'm gonna meet up with up there. And I'm like, I don't think so. And then it's partial thing. Uh -uh. I can't do that. 
And it's just like, uh -huh. I'm not trying to teach somebody this. Pro he said he started in uh, the movement in 76. I was born in 77. I don't think it's my place to teach you nothing, right? Uh -huh. But I'll explain to you why I can't be down with this. Because I'm supposed to, what time is it? And then they moving a little too fast for me. They want me to become a sheikist. I'm like, I'm not a sheikist. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, they keep calling me that. Yeah. And um, it's like, you know how it's like, why are you moving so fast? That kind of thing. I'll be glad to work with y'all, but you trying to put me in positions. I don't even know how your temple works. I haven't even been to a meeting. I haven't even filled yeah. out an application or anything. And you're trying to put that's me in charge right. of some stuff. I understand why, that's but right. that's not how I operate, you know. Yeah. Can we slow down yeah. just a little, yeah. you know? Yeah. I met y'all yeah. on third, what, Wednesday or Thursday, and by Friday you offering me a position. Yeah, they're playing catch up. Huh? They're playing catch up. They're, they're playing catch up. They're trying to get to to a place. It's this. It's like um, it's like with um, like years ago when we, when we first started. That's what everybody was coming in on. Oh, okay. Well, how, well, well. How can I be a sheik? And how well, how can I be a, a, a secretary? And how can I be a Whatever. Well, you you don't even know Nobu Jolly's birthday. Like, what do you mean be a secretary or something? Like, you can't be a secretary just because mm -hmm. you just walked in the door. You saying they you trying know? to play catch up? Yeah, like I'm saying at at um at Grand Major Temple because you know because the thing with, with all the different temples, right? All the different Grand Major temples. Yeah. They they, they, they want to show that they're that they're doing something. Okay, got gotcha. you. Got gotcha. you. Know what I mean? And they trying. I got to give it up to them. They really are trying, but it's they're all like kind of up there. They don't have like the energy, and it's like, uh, well, they do because they travel, man. Um, especially the ones in Indiana that I'm finding out. It's like I would love to work with y'all because y'all, y'all, y'all starving. You're not just hungry, you know. And um, I don't feel exploited at all because they trying to they're trying to grab up properties that I, I've been trying to do the same thing. It's just been me. And it's just like, well, okay, now I can actually work with some people that's actually going to go out and look for the properties instead of having me do it type of thing, right? But can I do that as a non-member, <laughs> please? <laughs> you know, I'm a con uh, independent contractor, that kind of thing. But yeah, it was just, it's just, it's just like, it's just, you know how the energy is just not sitting right? It's vexing, yeah. that kind of thing, yeah. you know? So you should tune into that. Yeah, I'm not gonna deny it because every time I betray myself, oh boy, yeah. Yeah, don't do that. No, nah. yeah, tune into that because uh, that that's our that's us learning from our mistakes because we've been there, done that. So if we keep doing that, we're not learning from that. Yeah, same that mistake. it's my gut. It's just like, yeah, I don't like yeah, how this feels. The energy off. Yeah, yeah it's nah. off. Yeah, I appreciate uh -huh. what they're doing, but it's just like, can I do it from over here? I I can help y'all from over here. So. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, that, I'm glad we having this meeting because that's why I kind of wanted to do it because I'm really I'm seriously on the fence about whether or not I want to go up there for this just yeah, because yeah. it's Chicago politics. But it's worse because it's yeah. the temple, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I left yeah. Chicago and never returned for a reason. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow, I didn't know you were from Chicago. Yeah, I'm from Chicago. That meetup was the first time I slept in Chicago in seven years and I don't plan on doing it. I was like, do I have to do this again wow. this year? <laughs> you know, wow. I spent I spent eighteen years there and left as soon as I as soon as I was old enough to leave, I left and never went back, except to visit family. That's it, cause it's it's yeah. just too grimy. That's the word, grimy. Yeah. Chicago yeah. politics is its own major in college, and these mugs are there. It's like y'all too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I can't. I not. I don't know. I can't be a part of that, right? And yeah. my thing is, you know, this whole thing is feeling like hurting cats anyway. And maybe that's for a reason. Because all the scripture says, oh, this this going to be Allah's glory. Watch watch how, how Allah unites these people that everybody swore up and down could not be united. Right? Yeah. That kind of thing. And it seems to be happening. I, I, I see it, you know. I wonder what happened to Amir. I'll get up with him later. So, yeah. That's why I was bringing this up. Yeah. Give everybody time to think about what they want to do. Because it's like, well, worst come to worst. You got a month to think about it because you should start reserving your tickets and hotels a month before the event. And we're doing this two two months out. So, yeah. yeah. But my vote is Ohio. I'm just saying. Or somewhere else, you know, go around seeing, activating all these spots. How about that? Not even going to see them. Go activate them, you know? Yeah. So, that yep. sounds dope. Yup. And I can guarantee it's going to be cheaper than staying in Chicago. <laughs> it don't matter. As long, as long as you're not going to New York or LA, it's automatically cheaper. You know, or Denver. Well, yeah. Denver is expensive too. So, yo. I like Ohio. I like that idea. Yep. I like. I, I we're, have... we're about to. We're about to um. 
to a surf mall. But what about what about setting up something at Ohio? Setting up like a, a weekend. And yeah, a lap, that's what I said. We can month. do both if you want. Yeah. Um, one or both, because it's like okay. I think it'd be kind of messed up to be like, oh, we're going to Ohio the week of convention. Nah, we're going to play it off and we'll wait till November. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know. I like that. Well, whatever, whatever. I mean, whatever, whatever. And then my sister invited me to um come see her in Seattle. Tell me how she'll pay for everything. So guess what I'm about to do? Mm. Like, hmm. <laughs> uh, hmm. I've never been to Seattle free of charge, you know. <laughs> and it's a more up there that I want to meet up with, you know. You're about to be a traveling more. No, I don't. I'm good. I'm good. You don't know what happened. Like from from when I hit the age of 33 to 40, I was just on the road. Why do you think I know all these moors from all over the place? Yeah. So it's like, no, nope, no, I'm good. But I guess it's it's fine because I've been able to sit in one spot for seven years. And so yeah, you might be right. Uh, it's time to hit the road again. So yep. Yeah. And it's great because it's like, dang, like, I actually got, I wouldn't even think of going out there. It's like, I don't feel like wrangling all these children and getting on a plane to fly, what, six hours? To do what? You know, but there's a more up there. It's like, cool, I'll leave the children with you. I'm going to go hang out with him because I know, I know you, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> we shared a wound. We good, you know. So, but yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Um, what's what's else on this itinerary? Um, volunteer roles, future event, sign up process, Q and A, closing remark. Well, um, sign up process. I don't think we need that. Rosa, you might need to do that. Um, there's a talent intake form on mercycharities.org. It should be right there on the top of the screen, and you just fill in your information, like your contact information where your strengths are and where you want to help out, right? Just that. Okay. But everybody else, I got y'all information. Yup. Oh, yep. I'm pretty sure I have Amir Sharif stuff too. So, yup. All right. Um. Well, so from what it sounds like, don't nobody want to be bothered with the politics in October. <laughs> it's like, I'll go to something virtual if somebody's holding that, you know. Yeah. But I just got a, I got a, a bad feeling and I'm going to trust it, right? For real. On the For real. real. Because I was excited about it, but it's just like, uh, the more I think about it, oh, you know, I don't know. Ohio sounded real good, though. Boy, boy, boy. And then watch, it's going to be 80 degrees. Maybe we can camp out there. Wouldn't that be crazy? Oh, I wonder if we can, because camping don't mean tents. There's this thing called glamping, where they got cabins set up (laughs) and hot showers. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be. I know it's going to be cold. That's why I suggested a cabin. And this is plenty of time to start it up. It's like Mercy Charities hasn't done any. Um, we just did the first fundraiser this year. So I can ask more. It's like, hey, you want to help us to raise money to offset the expense of staying in a, an actual structure when we go here. Right. And um, of course, everybody's going to have to pay their way. But it's going to be one of those things where it's going gonna, it's gonna to be something that benefits everybody if you donate that kind of thing. Yeah. You know, so, uh, but yeah, I'm I'm getting real excited about this, the snake thing. Huh? Oh, I was just asking, I think I was asking about that. Are we going to that serpent, the, you said it was a mound? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I know they got to have like, um, uh, accommodations nearby. Cause that's like a, a actual tourist area. So, yeah. Oh. But I mean, I'll have to look into it. So um, I'm, I guess I'm gonna look into it because <laughs> the more I think about it, the more appealing it is, you know. And that's something to take that the children can easily go to, you know. Yeah. No, I don't, and I don't think that would be messed up if they got tickets to that thing. Tickets? That would, yeah, that would be messed up if they charged to get to go see it. You know, how, you gotta you gotta pay to go see the Grand Canyon. <laughs> oh, God. These people, man. That's so, crazy. Yeah, you, we got to pay to get into our own go stuff. It's like uh, uh, the Grand Canyon area. I just want to, I want to feel feel the energy that's in the area. Like it's some mounds here, in Georgia too, the um, Ottawa Mounds, and um, it's uh, Mount Arabia. It's it's a couple of different places I want to check out. That's down here as well. You ever been to Augusta? Yeah. yeah Augusta, Augusta is all mounds. I couldn't yeah, believe yeah. it's just it's just people like oh those are hills I, I said they were hills because they were everywhere, and the more was like those aren't hills those are mounds. Then he said it's so yeah. so matter of factly and it's I was like all of these, it's got to be hundreds and they're not that big but they're everywhere. I'm like why Augusta you know, 
so it, it's, it's it's like that in the in the south in general. Like I did a lot of traveling. Like I was um, in Savannah, and in Savannah, you could basically if you were walking the riverfront and you look back at the buildings, you could tell that it, it was like a, a difference in uh, geography where the, like everybody be like the mud flood type of thing where you know they start building on top of old buildings and they're below the ground. Right. You could see that clearly just by walking the riverfront and looking back at the buildings. Because it, it, it drops down a level to get to the river. And the river so, is so flat right there where you can see the, not the next actual curvature, but, you know, rivers, they're, 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 they're draining. They're going towards something. So it's some kind of slope. And you can actually see the slope just by paying attention to the speed of the river. That would be a tour to take. The Savannah yeah. River. You know the history of the yeah. Savannah, right? That, supposedly, that's not even a river. It's a canal. Because they dug it because the Savannah was such prolific slavers. And that's how they were getting all their captives to, um... That's what it looked, I swear. Where is it? Like it they were taking them all like down, because the Savannah River lets out in, um... Where is that that they drop off? It's in Carolina. It's like the main drop-off spot for the slaves in Carolina. Um, okay, it's something south... It's where the Savannah empties out into the ocean, right? And supposedly that's where, uh... I can, how, how can I not remember that name? Charleston. Charleston, South Carolina. I think it's Charleston. And, uh, yeah, and it's messed up because the Savannah are from Illinois. And they were being, like, just enslaved like crazy. So they ran down south and used all the, the tactics that were being used against them in Illinois to become slavers. So much so that they changed the name of the river to the Savannah, to the name of their tribe. So, yeah, horrible history. Because I, I used to live, um, yeah, in Augusta, right there at um, river Riverfront, right there. So, yep. Yeah. And they used to tell us, yeah, this is what they used to unload and load the slaves. And that's the cotton building right there. It's a bank now. I'm like, I got to get out of here. <laughs> this place is messed up. You know, it's right. The bank It's a big old red building. It used to be where they would bring in the cotton and the slaves. And now it's just a bank. But I guess it's been a bank the whole time, huh? But, yep. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So, uh. Uh, just really quick, back to the Serpent Mound. Um, yes. It, it, it's a parking fee. Okay. Uh, per, per car is $8. Um, they are closed on Thanksgiving. Of course. <laughs> that would be the perfect time to go. <laughs> I know. Oh, man. Right? <laughs> okay, so that's about it. Um, just All right. That. Okay, so we need to check to see how much it is for a bus. You know what I mean? So everybody get there, park their car at their residence, and then uh, not like a um, a charter bus, but like how Enterprise they'll rent you like a um, eighteen eighteen seater van, that kind of thing. And then nobody got to be like following folks because that was horrible having to follow people in Chicago. <laughs> so uh, like now nah, we'll all be just on one tour bus type of thing. So is this like the thing we just gonna go ahead and just be like try to do this, the mouse? Because, I mean, that it doesn't mean um, convention is just off the table because, you know, that's still in October and this mound thing might be in November. So, yep. I'm, I'm definitely down for the mounds. It'd be great to um, see the, the family. Yeah, that too. Yup. And we already have some folks down there to, to uh, show us around and keep us safe. Don't go down that street, I'm, you know. <laughs> I'm definitely with it because I that family's been on my mind since I met them. Like, yeah, and I was saying hey, it'd be nice to run, but well, it'd be good to run into them again. Yeah, yeah. So okay, cool. So that's that's what's up. We got two seconds. All right. Um, that's messed up. How uh, the convention discussion just fell to the wayside. Um, <laughs> but hey, I'm not fighting it. You know. Because I figure if you're not excited about it, you probably don't want to make yourself do it, you know, especially if it's not your responsibility, that kind of thing. So, plus, I, I don't know what they got going on yet, you know. I don't know what their plans are. But I let them know, like, yeah, I'll be um, at least just starting to put the word out for anybody that's willing to help organize whatever's going on. So, And they actually have a Sheik's meeting today. <laughs> that they invited me to. I'm like, don't sheiks have to go through like a ceremony or something? <laughs> like what? Well, a mother already is sheik, cause y'all gotta be born that way. Y'all be getting okay. from birth. <laughs> well, that that's not yeah. what they say. I kept telling them, I'm not a sheik. Yes, you are through deed. Okay, fine. 
You know, I, everybody else get a ritual and a ceremony, and you just gonna tell me I'm one. All right, that's fine. Everything is in the, in the deed. Like that's like one of my favorite words is indeed because it, it is in the deed. Like it, you can't talk about it. It's like in the deeds that you do, you are this or you are that. But like, I mean, it's something said. about rituals. How it, it 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 helps you to cross over into that point. You know, and we don't have en- we don't have enough of them as it is. We need to stop playing with that stuff. And then everybody else got one. That's my problem. You know, yeah, yeah. it's like you made them go through chambers and this and that and do all this. And you just saying, come, you just telling me to come to the meeting. Because One is like, it makes me, it's kind of, it's like what it means kind of making me question like what you don't think I can go through it. Um, two, what's the rush? And three, how are the other sheets going to look at this? You know, they had to do all that work and I just got to walk in. I don't want to deal with that. You know, you might say it's okay, but you're not them. You know, <laughs> I was gonna say where, wherever you walk in is gonna be a problem because you got a lot of people who don't do and you are doers, so that's gonna be a constant for you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm that's, that's like the that's like my discrepancy with people because this is not really like the prophet said. It's not a social thing. This is about people doing, and nobody does. Everybody's just flapping their mouth. They show sure are. It. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Because I just went to a, like, a meeting last night, and it's like, okay, yeah, I see what, yep, boomer, another boomer. Yeah. Okay, boomer. <laughs> and, and then it's like, even that, like, like the position that I take myself is like everybody, you know, I would say like a, a movie role. And like, I don't know if you got a chance to hear the brief part where uh, Kenyo and I were talking about it. He would ask me about the Black Bears and was saying like, you know, you first. And I'm like, yeah, I totally understand that. He was saying like, you know, you, you're, you're responsible for these people. Like, if I'm going to put my life on the line for anything, it's going to be for somebody that is, is worth, you know, like, like I came to Chicago because I know my GS was there and it was more that was talking wayward and I'm going to be present for this. Like, okay. Yeah. I was wondering why y'all were like always together. I'm like, what's going on with the, oh, that's his Mufti. That's what's up. Indeed. That's what's yeah, up. Not, Dude got traveling security. For you. That's you that. Know, like the same that's for gangster. you. Like, uh, <laughs> When GS was right there, that was that was that for you as well, you know, like because you you the mother. It's like, long. Thanks, more. <laughs> no doubt, but I don't see other Morris really doing it. But I seen some Morris really step up to the plate, like study more. Like uh, he was in a group chat with us before, and he had got kicked out of the group chat. But I told those Morris when I got back, I said I don't know what y'all know about him, but I met them more in person. And when it came to something real, that Morris stepped into action without without no question. Nobody even asked him to do what he did. Yeah, it's like people take. Uh, I guess you know, like I say, it's better to meet another <coughs> person. Yeah, yeah, man. All right. All right. Well, we're gonna go wrap this up because I want to leave on a good note. I feel good. I hope y'all feel good. Um, Same, I do. So there's no resolution on the convention thing, which is fine. But everybody seems to be on board for the going down and visiting the mouse and uh, connect reconnecting with that that Moorish family. So yeah, and I'll be letting her know because I'm um I've been in contact with the 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 sister, the main sister. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all let her know we want to come see y'all. <laughs> You know, so you better I make some get a room. To build with her husband. I didn't get a chance to really build with the more while we were down there. But I wanted to get a chance just to build with him just in general because he was the other part of the family, you know, and I got a chance to see them in action. I think that was that was the dopest thing for me was to see that family, how they were moving. I got some pictures I need to send that mobile. Because she was taking pictures of her family and I'm taking pictures of her taking pictures of her family. <laughs> and I want her to have I want those. I want to put them on the um put them on Rise of the Moors. You know? I'll send them to you. Yeah, so that you know, because I'm trying to build this up, so then when I go trademark it, it's like see some stuff actually behind it. You know, okay, I ain't mean, trying okay. to trademark it I'll because of what y'all much think. What I have. <laughs> All right, cool. It's like the uh, impromptu picture I sent you that was uh, in that collection. Islam, yeah, and thank you for that Islam. one. Islam, yeah. You're more than welcome. Yep. I got you too, Yelly. <laughs> <laughs> send them to me. Yeah, that I picture will. with her and the baby was funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. I feel the same way about babies. I love children with babies. Whoa. Yeah, you sit over yeah. there with your mama. You know. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, check your check your email. I sent you the um certificates we're gonna give to the youth next week. Who me? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's long. 
They give it to the, 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 con- the conference where they're going to give them give me certificates. That's what's up. Yeah, we need to do a um, a debrief on that because yeah, that might be getting ready to turn into a thing because it's so. Remember, I don't know if y'all remember. I was like, what do the boys have? Right? We got hostess club and the sisters auxiliary for the girls. What do the boys have? How about a sports camp? Yeah. You know. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, and then if that's um mm-hmm. a, little, a little more planning because like, <laughs> when we had like a week, you know, what could be done with a little more planning that kind of thing. So it's like I hope you're planning on doing this next year because that's a lot of time to, yeah, to get yeah, something yeah. done. Yeah, well, let them know this is this is the first annual. So okay, cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then I talked to the I talked to the place too, and they said um you know once we get in because we got in like super super last minute. So he said um we could um do the application earlier. Yeah. You know, we, already in one. we already got in one, so it's really just the day because depending on. On what the Pan Am Center has going on right. every year, you know it depends on what space is available. But there's always going to be space available. They got 50 gyms in there, so all right. We'll be all right. Yeah, all right. right. So, yeah, and I mean, you found that one sure. grant. That's yeah. why I was like, man, if you had a little more time, you can get a grant for snacks and drinks. Get you a grant for yeah. T-shirts yeah. and jerseys, maybe whole uniforms. Yeah. Right. Get you a banner. Yeah, People do. want to. They want to help. They they really do. It's really yeah. amazing. You know, especially well, corporations, they trying to like make themselves look, you know, less um, corporate by actually engaging in human activities like charity, you know. But that's why I was like, yeah, I wish we'd had more time, you know. But hey, I'm glad, hey, you had 15 show yeah. up. That's, that's, that's amazing, yeah, yeah. you know. And then on um, yesterday, yesterday, we, we, um, well, not yesterday, Monday, when we were there Monday, this, um, this elder Filipino came in. And it's a it's an actual referee that oh. used to that used to um, referee our our high school game. Wow! So he's retired now. So now he's like, well, yeah, I'm gonna come and I'll I'll ref I'll referee you guys scrimmages so I could give them stuff you know on the court as far as you know where they should be, what what calls referees are gonna make and shit like that. So it's tur- it's turning into it's turning into something. It's, it's, turning, a, into it's something. turning into a thing. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, and you know how boys thing. like to talk, like how you get so good? Let me tell you how I'm so good. <laughs> that's what's up. See, yeah, that's what's up. And not giving that old man something to do with himself. You know, I don't nobody want to. He didn't. He probably didn't want to retire. You know. Uh, yeah, that's why he peaked his head in that gym. <laughs> yup. Exactly. Yup. That's how, how you getting a ref. You just got a, a ref out of it. And then it's the one that was, okay, whatever. <laughs> he used to work at your school. Okay. See, <laughs> and when things happen naturally, that's yep. when it's so beautiful, man. I tell yep. you, like, we don't follow yep. divine and nature's law for no reason. Exactly. Yeah. It is law. Yeah, that just happens. Right. Sure. <laughs> All right, cool. So that's something to brag about. That's definitely something to brag about. All right. Oh yeah, mother. Um, next time you got some free time, just give me a um, shoot me a text, and we'll get a chance to have a conversation. Will do. Now I will do that. All right. So this was recorded, and um, I'm gonna upload it to Instagram. Not Instagram. Um, YouTube as an unlisted video. And if y'all don't mind, after a while, maybe I'll release it to the public so they can see what happened. That kind of thing. After mu- much editing, because I'm gonna take out some stuff. I might have to take some stuff out. <laughs> No problem. You know. Trust, we already understand. <laughs> all right, cool. So you. But other than that, unless you got some questions, you know, that's all, right, all I got. Love and peace. Love and peace. Love and peace. Peace and love, y'all. Thank you for joining. I really appreciate y'all showing up. These are the mores I can work with. That's what's up. Good to know. All right. Islam. All right, y'all have a great rest of your day. All right. All right. Peace. Thank you. Peace. 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 <laughs>